Welcome to Edgelution 2.0. Edgelution was originally created as an answer to the COVID-19 pandemic. When the world went remote and students lost their opportunity to be in the classroom. To help prevent students from falling behind, Edgelution filled the gap for those who didn't have Wi-Fi or technology. Edgelution has supported the community for over two years, filling the educational divide through equity and access, ensuring that all students have a fair chance to learn and succeed in life. Our host is Ms. Pia Rosa, a Bronx-born and raised educator with a heart for her community. Let's start the show. Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you can make it today. We're gonna be doing some math activities. Are you ready to do some math? Awesome. So today we're gonna to be learning about numbers, all about numbers. What was the last number you saw? Do you have a favorite number? My favorite number is 26 because my birthday is March 26. some cupcakes and I just gather up my ingredients. I have three eggs, one third of uh, vegetable oil and one cup of water. So this time around I'm gonna have my daughter Haley to help me out to do the mix for the cupcakes. We have the oil and we have the water. Here you go, Haley. And we're going to start stirring it with the whisk. Very nice. Okay, so now we've done beating, stirring our mix, and our mix is ready. So now we're gonna begin the process of actually filling in our cupcakes, okay? So Haley, hold this for money. Thank you. Take this out. Okay, 
and let's start filling this up halfway because we don't want it to overflow. So let's go maybe halfway. Sometimes baking is messy. Okay, and now that we're done with our work cupcakes, now we're going to put it in the oven for 16 to 19 minutes as the recipe calls. And now we're going to check if our cupcakes are ready, but I think they are because already 19 minutes passed. So let's see. Oh, yes, they are. So now we're gonna let them cool off so we could frost them and decorate them. And we'll do that together. Okay guys, since we did not have a piping bag, we made one um, ourselves. So let's start decorating. Let's just take the little corner of it on top of our cupcake. Okay guys, now that our cupcakes are fully decorated, we're going to give them 8 to 10 minutes to settle. Okay, Mommy. Let's go sit down, Maya. Okay. Maya, Mommy said that we're going to be sharing the cupcake. Yes, but Mommy said that we're going to be sharing the cupcakes equally. But how do we share them equally? Wait, let's go check if the cupcakes have cooled down. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, now that the cupcakes have cooled down, um, what do you notice about these cupcakes? Maya? That the co the colors that are the colors of the rainbow. Okay. How about you, Haley? What do you notice? Every chocolate cupcake has a vanilla cupcake as their partner. And what are we going to do with these cupcakes? Share them. Yes, equally. Oh, we're going to share them equally. But what does that mean, to share equally? It means to split the cupcakes evenly. What does splitting evenly mean? Well, for example, we can do one for me, one for Maya. 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 And one for me and one for Maya. So we each have six and in total there's 12 cupcakes. So the reason why everything is like equal and everyone has the same amount that they did when we did the counting by ones is because two, four, six. So we each have six if we count by twos. Three times. So oh. we actually skip counted. So we're gonna do two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So um, we can split it up and then we each have six. We can share these cupcakes equally by counting by threes. So three for me, three for Haley, three for me, And three for Haley. Yeah. So that means that we skip counted by three, and that's a fair sharing. Oh. So how about if I do the following? And I want to give Maya this amount of cupcakes, and Haley get this amount. So Maya has five and Haley has seven. Is that fair share? No, no. Why not? Because 
I have one more than Maya, and Maya has one less than me. I have seven, and she has five. So if we subtract one, it will be equal, because we each have seven. You see, in mathematics, there is always problem solving. And for that purpose, Miss Familia created Quasa. Say Quasa! That's right. So, Quasa is a strategy that allows you to break down the problem to make it easier to be solved, less complex, right? Also, you need strategies to actually solve the problem and find the answer. Quasa stands for K, no, these are the facts that are given in the problem. W, want to know, that is the question that you need to answer. Solutions, that's the pathways that you need to take, different pathways to solve it. And answer, that's going to be the response to the question. So Maya and Haley were a little bit disappointed because they said, Mommy, we wanted to share the cupcakes with you. So once they said that, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe this is time for problem solving. So let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Miss Familia and her two daughters baked 12 rainbow cupcakes together. How will they equally share the cupcakes between themselves? This is the time for Quasa. I know what do I know in this problem what are the facts well I know that there are 12 rainbow cupcakes that's what I know okay we do know that three people will share equally how do I know that Miss Familia is one and her two daughters is two so that makes a total of three people and what will be my third fact well, I know that they want to share it equally. Now, what do I want to know? That will be the question of the problem. So I'm going to come here and the question says, how will they equally share the cupcakes between themselves? And now I'm thinking, how am I going to solve this problem? I could use different strategies. One of those strategies is drawings. I could make drawings to solve my problem. But how about if I want to find a different strategy? A different solution. Ah, I know. I want to try subtracting using the number line to see if it works. So I'm going to use those two strategies. Drawings and taking away using the number line. Now it's time to solve the problem. So we're going to have 12 cupcakes. Why are we going to have the 12 cupcakes? Because that's what the problem says. So let's begin. One. Two. Three. Now that we count our cupcakes, we're going to start sharing them equally is only fair right so i have one plate for miss familia one plate for each one of her daughters and let's see how many plates we have one two and three just 
like we have it on our no of the Quasa strategy. So we're going to place them here. And we're going to start sharing. Miss Familia. One for daughter, one of her daughters. And the other one for the other daughter. Now we're going to see how many cupcakes each person received. Miss Familia received four cupcakes. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. Now, remember that we're supposed to share equally. We need to make it fair. So let's see if our two daughters receive the same amount. How many cupcakes? Four. One, two, three, four. So let's see. Daughter one, one, two, three, four. Yes, same as Miss Familia. Let's try daughter two. One, two, three, four. Yay! Everyone received four cupcakes. Now, let's see how sharing equally works as repeat and subtraction using the number line. So I drew my number line up to 12 because the number of cupcakes to be shared is 12. So I'm going to subtract 3 from 12 because that's the number of people that are going to be sharing the cupcakes. So I have group of 3. So 12 minus 3 equals 9. And I'm going to continue subtracting 3 until I have no more cupcakes left. So 9 minus 3 equals 2. Six. Now six minus three equals three. And three minus three equals zero. So as you notice, I have my group of three every time. So now I'm going to count how many times I subtracted three. This is one time. Two times. Three times. And four times. Let's go here. One time, two times, three times, and four times. I've subtracted three, four times. So my answer is four, just like in my other strategy. So now we're gonna complete our quasa. Four cupcakes for each one. Four cupcakes for Miss Familia and four cupcakes for each one of her daughters, Maya and Haley. Now, let's go over the strategies that we used. One of them was a visual model. I can make a drawing to share the cupcakes equally. First, share each cupcake one by one with each person until there are not cupcakes left. Two, count how many cupcakes each person has. Make sure each person has the same amount of cupcakes. Remember, we want to make this fair. Another strategy was to use the number line and repeat a subtraction, taking away. 
I can share equally on the number line using repeated subtraction. First, you start at 12. Then, you subtract three cupcakes at a time. After, you count how many times you subtracted three, and you get your answer. Now it's your turn to try this at home. How about if we add an extra person, and instead of three, we have four people to share the cupcakes with. How many cupcakes does each person get? And hmm, I want to challenge you even more. How about if we need to share between five people? And also, we want to see the Cuesta dance. Send us a video and give us the opportunity to do more math with flavor with Miss Familia Math. See you next time. yummy. Isn't it cool that you can even use math while you're cooking at home? Welcome ladies and gentlemen of the Bronx. We are here to talk about math and its use in the part part whole whole. Here is the definition you need to know for us to get started. Now let's get after it. And uh, we are talking about uh, still part part whole when it comes to ratio. Remember, we're looking at situations where we can add quantities and a ratio together. Remember, our goal for this week was that you would be able to create tape diagrams to help you reason about problems um, involving ratio and a total amount. And uh, you'll be able to solve a ratio um, and a total amount. So today we're going to look at situations dealing with Snickers, chicken and fruit juice. Let's see how that goes. Well, let's talk about the first one here, sneakers and some boots. Let's take a look at the problem. The ratio of students wearing sneakers to those wearing boots is five to six. If there are 33 students in class and all of them are wearing either sneakers or boots, how many of them are wearing sneakers? Well, first thing we need to do is that we always go to that original ratio. And we set up a diagram or set up a table or something. But since we're using tape diagram, we're going to represent that five to six. OK, so we have one, two, three, four, five representing sneakers, because remember, order matters with ratios, wearing sneakers to wearing boots. And the boots would be represented with the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our first step. Now we need to ask ourselves the question, how many parts are there all together? Well, if we add five plus six, we would know that it is 11 parts all together. And think about it from the ratio perspective, five to six, we add them together because those are the parts. And we get 11. Our next question is, what is the total number of students? The total number of students is 33. Now we're ready to move on. We're ready to take the whole, which in this case is 33, and divide it by the parts, which is 11, because it's the 5 and the 6, and we get 3. So we know that these equal parts, because look at it, even we're showing the equal size, are equal to each other. And in order for that to happen, they have to have the same value. And in this case, it's going to be threes. Now we are ready to go and to answer the question of how many students had boots, how many students had sneakers. Let's look at the sneakers first. We know that it's 15 because we add three plus three, six plus three, nine 
plus 312 plus 315. And how many of them are wearing sneakers answers the question. But just for good measure, we know that boots are 18. Why? We can add it together as well. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. And if you add 15 and 18 together, you get 33. On part, part, whole ratios. So let's look at situations where we can add the quantities and a ratio together. Remember, our week's goal is that you'll be able to create tape diagrams to help you reason um, about solving problems involving ratios and total amount. And also, you can solve the problems when you know a ratio and a total amount. We're talking about sneakers, chicken, and fruit juice. Mr. McGuire is going to try to make this marinade, but we're going to see how that works out, see if I know about these ratios. So let's take a look at the problem. A chicken recipe, a chicken, a recipe for chicken marinade says mix three parts oil with two parts soy sauce and one part orange juice. If I need 42 cups of marinade in all, how much of each ingredient should I use? Hmm. How am I going to figure this one out? Well, I know that as always, I start off by looking at my original ratios as they're given to me. Three parts to two parts to one part. And I'm going to draw a diagram, a tape diagram to represent that. Three parts of oil, two parts of soy sauce, and one part orange juice. Now, it's up to me to figure out how much of each I'm going to need. So what do I know? I know that if I add all of these parts together, I have six. Three plus two is five plus one is six. Now I need to figure out now what I need to know. <laughs> now what I need to know is how am I going to spread the whole, which is the 42, because that's the total in my marinade, spread it evenly over those six parts. Well, I know a strategy I can use. I can take 42 and divide it by six. Because if I do that, then I know that I'm going to get a number that each part should represent. And in this case, it's seven. So I just go back to my diagram and I do what? I put seven for each part. Because I know one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is 42. So now all I need to do is just add my parts together to see how much of each, um, each ingredient I need. So I know I need three parts of oil. So seven plus seven is 14 plus seven is 21. So I'm going to need 21 cup or 21, 21 cups of oil. Let's take a look at the soy sauce. Got it. Seven plus seven is 14. I'm going to need 14 cups of soy sauce. Now on to orange juice. Seven. The Bronx Edge Illusion. We are Bronx Strong.